From keeping criminals off the streets to proving someone is innocent, DNA analysis is critical to cases. It really is, and it's be, uh, been close to three years now, uh, three and a half years actually, since Wake County announced that it would build a DNA lab. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live for us in Raleigh, digging deeper into what's delaying that opening. The lab is all set up physically here, but there are several assessments that have to happen before they can open. They also say it's been tough to hire the right staff. The lab is all set up, instruments filling the tables. This is where the extraction of the DNA takes place. Once it opens, Wake County will be the second county in North Carolina to have its own DNA lab. Very exciting. Uh, this has been a dream that uh, many of us have had in this agency for, for a number of years. Raleigh Wake City County Bureau of Identification Director Sam Penica says this will give the county more control of what evidence to prioritize for analysis. Right now, we are dependent on the state crime laboratory, and we don't have that control. Uh, we don't have the ability to, we can ask for a case to be moved, you know, to the top of the list, but we're competing with 99 other counties. The State Department of Justice says in just over the past five years, Wake County agencies have submitted close to 1,800 cases to the state crime lab that have DNA exams. When it comes to resolving cases quicker, Wake County DA Lauren Freeman says DNA analysis is important and says in many instances, her office has waited a year or more for analysis. While the space is physically complete. If application is needed, then they come down to this room here. An opening for the lab has been delayed. We did a story in 2022 saying hopefully there would be an opening in either late 2023 or early 2024. It's now the spring. Why uh, are there some delays in the process? Well, there, there, have, been, uh, there have been some delays uh, in, the, uh, in trying to staff the, uh, the laboratory. He says it's been challenging to find DNA analysts with the right level of experience. One out of the lab's three DNA analyst roles are filled. Experienced DNA analysts in the state, there's not that many. As for a new timeline. Hopefully this time next year, we're analyzing evidence. Penica says some of the things that have to happen before they open are validation of the instruments that an agency has to accredit them, and then they can ask to be connected to the FDI data, FBI database, and then they can open. Ivan Rolla, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.